Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, and today we're going to talk about how to stay centered and be the best of ourselves, be the Buddha. And in the face of all the chaos and all the turmoil that is happening in the world. Um, as always, we're going to start with a meditation. Uh, we're going to do um, simply, as I shared with you in the past, uh, the most easy way of doing a meditation, if you don't want to do an active meditation or you don't want to do a visualization, is simply bringing your attention inwards towards the source of your thoughts. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I caught a cold, so um, <clears throat> occasionally I'm going to be coughing. Um, just in a very simple way, and keep it very easy. Uh, you can do this wrong. Divert your attention inwards and look for the source of your thoughts. Where do your thoughts come from? And what is there before you think? And if you just do a very simple search, it's like you have a flashlight and you're walking into uh, your storage and in the basement and you're searching with the flashlight, you're looking for something. And the same thing, you are doing the same thing inwards and look for where the thoughts come from. And if you look clearly, you come to this place that is very quiet and all of a sudden your mind becomes silent without even trying to do anything. And this is the fastest and easiest way of attaining inner silence. Now, maybe your mind comes back and thoughts arise and you hear that I can't do this, I'm thinking, I forgot this, I forgot that, this is difficult, maybe I should put my attention on my breath, whatever. Again, you go back and you bring your attention to the source of your thoughts. Excuse me. <coughs> so, go ahead and switch your attention. Simply from putting your attention on something on the outside or in an object or on a ma mantra or on breathing you bring your attention to the source of yourself. Take a deep breath and relax into this moment. Relax into whatever is happening right now. Relax into your seat. Relax into your environment. Surrender to this moment, whatever that is, and accept what is happening right now and relax into it without trying to manipulate it, without trying to create something else outside of what is right now. Simply relax into this very, very moment. And just see what's gonna come, see what presents itself. Take another deep breath. Don't try to manipulate anything. Don't try to force anything. 
simply you have diverted your attention from anything external, including your thoughts, your feelings, your body sensations. You are diverting your attention inwards to where it's all coming from, to the source of everything. Simply hang out in this moment with yourself, with the presence. With Her Majesty, the Supreme Being. In a total state of surrender and acceptance of what is completely disconnected from the external world as if it doesn't exist completely suspended in space without any purpose. You're not trying to get anywhere or do anything or accomplish anything. You are simply exercising your natural state of being. Like a tree that is still and in one place. It has no agendas. It's not trying to get anywhere. It's just here.
simply hang out in this moment here with your holy self, with the presence of the divine being, which is here, shining and breathing from you, from within you, your pulse, your heartbeat, your breath. And just relax into that. And as you're just in this very relaxed state, put your left hand on your right part of your chest and see if you can, if not, that's okay. And see the growing light, the light, see a one, Bob, light, see just a spot of light within your right chest, <clears throat> within yourself, and see that this light, as you're <clears throat> breathing, it's starting to grow. And this light starting to, its parameter with every breath you take is growing and growing. And the magnitude and the power of the light is taking over your body and is filling up your body with some kind of golden liquid. It feels like mercury, feels like honey, feels like this golden, thick, warm, comforting energy that is filling up your body and moving and shining through and it starts to take over your body and with a deep breath as you take it starts to pierce through your body to your aura now it's coming outside of yourself and it's starting to gradually grow the light around you emanating from within yourself bringing comfort love harmony balance And it's shooting out all these qualities from within you through your surrounding. And with every breath you take, the power of this golden light 
this divine energy, this comforting power gets stronger. and more effective. And it's connecting to everything in your surrounding, connecting to the plants, the animals, the trees, the people around in your neighborhood, in your house, in your surrounding, connecting everything to you and you to everything. While you're in just in your center, while you are not doing anything except simply peacefully being in your own center and not trying to prove anything, not trying to make a point you're simply being yourself in your natural state, becoming a beacon of golden light, peace, harmony, love, balance emanating from you. You are walking the talk. You are being the Buddha. Peacefully being yourself, sitting there, not trying to do anything, by simply remembering the truth of who you are, by simply exercising your natural state of being here in this moment, disconnected from the past moments and future, just simply here. And as you do this, I would like you to put your hands on your heart and remember the truth of who you are. Remember that before you were born, You were in the spirit land and you come from land of love and land of spirit, the divine self. And when you came to this life, it was like a piece, a light, a portion, a dot, however you like to imagine it, of divine source, the spirit flew into your body and you were born. But it never was separated from its source. It's like the sun rays, like the sun is shining and its rays reaching us here on planet Earth, but it's never disconnected from its source. And the same thing, you come from the sun and you give light to this body, this mind, this presence but you always remain connected to the source. And I want you to remember that. That you come from land of love, you come from land of light, you represent love on this planet. Remember who you are, remember where you come from. Remember, that is the truth of who you are. No matter what is happening, that's who you are. And that is eternal. It can never end. 
it can change forms, but it never ends. So, now if you please repeat after me. I love myself. When you say I love myself, I want you to put all of your judgments, all of your ideas of yourself, all of the stories that you believe aside, whatever that is, that's you're a good person, you're not a good person, whatever is your story, put your story away and simply see the light that you are and in the honor of the light you are, express that. So it's coming directly from the source of yourself. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I love everybody. I forgive myself. I forgive everybody. Because I'm love. Because I'm light. Because I'm God. That's why I love myself. And I forgive myself and all. Remember who you are, my brothers and sisters. Remember where you come from. Doesn't matter what happens. Remember your true origin. And your mission on this planet. Slowly, slowly, come back, bring your attention and energetic attention back into 
this singularity of your present consciousness sink back inside yourself. You have the ability to expand and contract. Those are your traits that you're capable of doing. At any moment that you are quiet and you're back in your own center, here and now. What an exciting time that we live in. We all have the front row seat in this movie that is being played <clears throat> and this drama, this comedy, this whole entire show, this movie which is being played right in front of our eyes. I wouldn't change it for anything. So before I start to go deeper into the topic of our day is Let's send some love and light to all of our brothers and sisters across the planet who are suffering from this coronavirus or suffering from anything in life and their families as well as all the healthcare workers that are helping and working, assisting all the ill people across the world, whether it's from this disease or from whatever it is. So let's hold them in our hearts. Let's send them love and strength. A lot of people across the planet, they don't know about meditation. They haven't done any inner work. They're very identified with what is going on. And there are a lot of fear and anxiety and there are suffering. So we hold them dear in our hearts. We send them love and light wishing him to receive it and be strong. Healing energy. We send them healing energy, loving them, supporting them to go through this hard time that they're experiencing. And those social workers, nurses, doctors that are helping people across the world. We're thankful to them and we send them love and light. 
and being grateful for their work. Now, how to be the Buddha in this time? This is for the spiritual seeker, those of us who have been on the path and doing the inner work. This is our opportunity. This is the golden opportunity that we've all been waiting for. And we have been preparing for it all these years. Attending different workshops, seminars, reading different books, doing meditation, learning, working on being a healer. And all of our training and work has brought us to this point. And now, as we're also working on ourselves, it's time for us to demonstrate and practically bring all of our tools and techniques we have learned into work and demonstrating them. This is our moment for all of us. Those of us who also been for years looking for a transition and transcending to fifth dimensional consciousness and wanting to elevate into this higher level. Right now it's the time. The gateway to heaven has opened up and this is the time for us to elevate our consciousness into a higher level. And in that is something has to give. We cannot carry our old belief system, our ideas to this other level. We have to let go of a lot of the things that we hold on to and we believe. And entering into this heavenly realm naked, without any positions, without any ideas of simply entering into it with trust and acceptance. Because this other realm, in order to enter into it, you have to walk into it from this place of I don't know. I don't know, but I'm here. Complete surrender to the divine plan. Whatever God has plans for us, whatever God is presenting to us. And yes, for some people, it's very scary what's happening. What is going to happen to me in the future? What's going to be next? The world as I know it is collapsing and is changing. Yes. The world is changing. It's going to change to something else. Maybe, maybe not. But let's look at all the wonderful things that are coming out of this change. Excuse me. A is where a lot of people across the planet are forced to question their existence. They're in this situation that they need to look within, no longer are fast cars, are 
real estate, our homes, our retirement money, our friends, family, nothing at this moment can do anything for you, for them. So no matter how much you wash your hands, how much you keep yourself distant from other people, isolate yourself, you have to look inside yourself and take a look and face the existence of yourself. Who am I? What am I? What am I doing here? What's the purpose of my life? Well, what's going to happen to me? So it's a very, very precious time. This is a golden opportunity for transformation. I hope you don't miss this. I hope you don't fall into all these fear, worry, anxiety. And instead of exhausting your energy on that, is you bring your, your attention to the truth of who you are <clears throat> and bring and use this opportunity since we are forced to stay home, we are, which is a beautiful situation that you can put so much of your energy on external stuff and distracting yourself with taking your kids to school, going to work, watching games, um, doing a lot of stuff that normally you do is have this time off to do inner work, have this time to reflect, have this time to bring your attention to the Buddha that's within yourself this part of yourself, which is waiting eagerly for us to be discovered, has been sitting there all of our lives, waiting for a moment for us to look at it. So there is a lot of good things to discover. There's a lot of good is going to come out of this for those of us who have our hearts open and are willing to take a leap, willing to go beyond the fear, worry, anxiety, and all the thoughts of the uncertainty of what's going to happen in the future. You never know what's going to happen in the future, even if things are normal. Things seem to be normal, but you never know what's going to happen the next moment of life. Now, we're in a position that we're faced with it stronger. There's no difference between right now and few months ago. Few months ago, you didn't know what was going to happen the next moment, but you weren't paying any attention to it. Your attention was on external stuff. So it's like being asleep, like being in a dream state. Now we're waking up to this other reality. What's gonna happen next? Who knows what's gonna happen next? Nobody knows, excuse me. <coughs> but now we're paying a lot of attention to it. It's going to be whatever it's going to be. This is all God's plan. This is God's dream. And it's always been God's plan and God's dream. But well, one thing is for sure, life is going to continue in one way or the other. Because the presence, the spirit is always here. And that's what we are. We are the spirit. 
visiting these bodies temporarily for a short period of time. That's all. The spirit is the only thing which is eternal. These bodies and these settings are temporarily and short term. We've seen it. Nobody lives forever. No situation in life remains the same forever. Everything is constantly changing from one thing to another. Sometimes you got these peaks and then when you come down, you go through a valley. And then a valley goes back to a peak and a peak goes back to the valley. That's the process. So we have our high times, we have our low times. That's the natural process of this dimension. There's no difference. The difference is that we are faced with questioning it and we're looking at it. So why don't we take an advantage of this situation and turn this seemingly negative or frightening situation and take advantage of it to discover the truth of who we are. So one thing is that. Another thing is now people have an opportunity to spend time with their family, spend time with their children, spend time at home. We're all getting an opportunity for those of us who live a fast life to slow down, smell the roses, slow down, cook home at home, make our own food, wash things, cut things, clean things, cook them. Remember our basics. We forgot our very basics. But then also understanding and remembering how dependent we are to the system. That food, water, things, coffee, whatever is always delivered to us. We forgot to make our own stuff. And now we get to see that, wow, how dependent we are on things getting delivered to us. I got very spoiled. I got very lazy. It's a good time to reflect back on that, mellow down, make your own food, wash your own dishes, take care of your family, spend time with your loved ones, be present with them. It's a great opportunity to connect, reconnect, sing together, play some games together. Instead of watching TV and listening to all the bad news, entertain like what we did 100 years ago when there was no electricity, when there was no TV. We lived a tribal life. We entertain ourselves and each other without any kind of gadgets. You like to write, this is a good time to write. You like to paint, this is a good time to paint. You like to create something with your hands, this is a good time to do. You like to dream, this is a good time to just dream. Whatever you like to do, you'll get an opportunity to mellow down, slow down, calm down, relax. Just spend some time with yourself give your own divine self some love and attention. It's a great time to do this. It's a good time to read some of the books you wanted to read. A lot of different things. There's a lot of advantages right now that we can use, we can pay attention to. It's not all doom and gloom and a disaster. 
There's a lot of good things to it. It's a very good time to do a nice cleanse. You can just go on a very good cleanse. Eat very little, eat very healthy, do all kinds of work on yourself. Tremendous opportunity to do a lot of the things that we put on hold and not paying attention to. And now we have time for it. Instead of sitting in front of TV or computer and suffering what's gonna happen next. Who cares what's gonna happen next? It's just your busy, crazy mind who wants to go and find out about what's going to happen next because the mind thinks that you are going to physically live forever the mind wants to know if there is any security in the future which doesn't exist the mind wants to know that if it's going to be eternal but the mind cannot be internal because it's moving all the time. It's changing all the time. And what a tremendous opportunity now to be still, to be silent, to be quiet, What a golden opportunity to simply keep your attention. When your thoughts arise and they want to go crazy and they're just going blah, 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 simply recognizing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. <clears throat> simply recognizing the madness is happening and you're aware of it and very simply diverting your attention towards the source of yourself, towards the witness where you are noticing this chaos in your head and you bring your attention back inside and all of a sudden everything becomes quiet nothing is happening nothing is happening in the center of yourself, right now, you can examine it. You don't have to believe what I say. Simply bring your attention inwards, divert your attention inwards to the source of your thoughts. And immediately, everything becomes silent and there's nothing going on. Nothing is happening, my brothers, sisters, <laughs> except a movie being played out. In the center of yourself, it's absolutely calm and quiet. There is no turmoil in the center of yourself. So, You simply bring your attention 
let's say if there's a column running through you, okay, we got a pole. We got a column inside you. This is still. Outside, things are moving, going this way, that way. You bring your attention back to the center of yourself. You bring your attention inwards, and all of a sudden, you're completely still, regardless of the stories you're hearing, what is happening around you, internally or externally. As soon as you divert your attention back inwards, you're completely still. And practice this on a daily basis. Every time you remember, simply bring your attention inwards to the source of where your thoughts come from, what's behind it. And just keep your attention there. and everything just wow. like this generator that is going the generator is creating thoughts 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 worry worry corona disease da, 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 da. what's going to happen projection that 100 million people going to die this many people da, 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 da. in 2 years we're going to have the vaccine how will yeah the moment you bring your attention back inwards to this place Oh, everything becomes quiet. Like you're in the middle of the desert with nothing around you. As if you are in an isolated tank somewhere in deep ocean. And there is no noise, nothing. It's absolutely quiet and still. That's the core of yourself. And now this is the opportunity to work on that. And the moment you bring your attention to this place, your mind becomes quiet and all of a sudden you start smiling. All of a sudden you having an encounter with your divine self. You start to see the truth of who you are. You begin to feel, touch, experience the true self, the love which is here. powerful sensation of love and bliss begin to emanate from you. As if you're hugged, you're held by Amaji or Mother Mary, angels, love starts to flow out of yourself and a deep sense of knowing that all is well starts to flow out of you. And that is contagious. That love, that presence affects everything in your surrounding. And this is our work now, to A, discovering it within ourselves, B, to stay in this place and live it, and C, it gets transmitted to everything in your surrounding. It's an inside job 
and you have been here in this life for this. All your training and all your preparation is for this. This is the moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This situation. That the boat is rocked. The ship may sink. Who knows? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens in the external world. The external world is an animation of what is happening internally in you. It's a reflection of where your mind is. So it doesn't matter what's going on in the outside world. It's projecting from inside you. So you want peace, don't look for it in the external world. You want balance, harmony, don't look for it outside. It's not there. You're wasting your time. Like when you're trying to find security in the outside world. Oh, I have $500,000, but that's not enough. Now I need to have $1 million. And I get this, but I'm not secure yet. Now I need $5 million and I need two more homes and I need investment property and I need stocks. They're not gonna make you secure because that's not where it is. You are insecure inside. So it doesn't matter how much more you pile up. That's not gonna change. It's not gonna solve your problem because that's not where it is. The problem is you don't feel secure inside. <coughs> Excuse me. You need to find that security within yourself, not in adding more properties or more stocks or food or whatever, piling things up. That's not the remedy. The remedy is within. To discover who you are, then you feel secure in the truth, in discovering of the truth of who you are, then you feel security because it's very still, it's very collected, it's here. And it's not being touched by anything external. This one is here and it's permanent, always here. The truth of who you are cannot be affected by corona disease, by life, by death, by what's gonna happen because it's eternal, it's always here. It's always alive, it's always present, it's always love. It can't change, it's permanent. That's why you see the world around you is crumbling down. Thank God it's crumbling down. Thank God your foundation is shaken because it was an illusion it wasn't real anyway. So now it's forcing you to take a look at what is real. You see what's going on, my brothers and sisters? You see, can you, can you get a, do you get an idea of this? That this is really a gift to you? It's not like the wrath of God to punish us 
or anything. This is a golden opportunity for us to recognize that. What you were hanging on to is not real. Thank God it's crumbling down. Let it crumble down. I don't want it because it's not real. How many times we have to see the same thing keep happening in the history of mankind for us to get it? What happened to the Second World War in Europe? Everybody started to lose everything because it wasn't real anyway. The only real thing is yourself, the truth of who you are. Presence. You, separated from your mind, not your mind, your state of being, the I am, is the only real thing that exists. Only real thing ever existed. Pay your attention, bring your attention to that one and let go of everything else. And from there, from that place, I'm sorry, something happened here. Just one moment, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Amir, I, I don't know, someone has come on my, okay, it got fixed again. I don't know what happened. Just one moment. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Some. Either somebody <clears throat> came on my page or not, whatever. Can you hear me? Raise your hand. Okay, good. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah. So... Let me see, anybody has any questions for me? You can raise your hand or you can write on the chat box. Uh, those of you who aren't on Facebook, I'm sorry, I can't respond to you on Facebook. Uh, if you want to communicate with me, you need to come on our system and uh, we'll use Zoom and that way I can communicate with you directly. Um, but I can't respond to, uh, I appreciate your watching me on Facebook, connecting with me, but I can't get back with you on Facebook. If you get a chance, now that we have time, watch the movie Little Buddha. I think it was made sometimes in mid 90s. And uh, there's a part of it that brings this story to Siddhartha before he became the Buddha. And Right before his final realization, he is in samadhi, he is in a state of complete meditation, in pure silence. He's got his eyes half open, but is completely still. He's keeping his attention on one point, and he's not paying attention to anything else that is happening. And the life mind is throwing tantrum at him. And 
as he's sitting in this position, completely still, and unattached to what is going on, there is this huge tsunami is coming, really high, big waves and tornado and crazy weather and big waves are coming to swallow him. And he's sitting there in silence in his position and he's not moving, he's not ducking, he's not trying to protect himself, he's just sitting still. And these huge waves and all these things, as they're coming and the waves are falling, they kind of disappear. Then the next thing is this army of men, 10,000 men with their bow and arrows, they come and they are to shoot at him. And the sergeant comes, the commander comes and puts flame to the arrows. So these are fire arrows that are gonna come. All the 10,000 soldiers pulled their bow and arrows in his directions and they shoot. And thousands of arrows fire with fire flaming arrows coming towards him and he's sitting still and as they're all coming towards him to kill him he's not moving he's not ducking he is completely in still stillness not paying any attention on what is happening in the world and all the arrows turn to roses and they all fall at his feet. Nothing touches him. Then as he's sitting in this state, five very lavishing, gorgeous, half-naked women, they come in front of him and start dancing and doing their thing and trying to tempt him. Some brought grapes, somewhat wine, and they're trying to pull him out of his state, and he is not paying any attention to them. He's staying completely still. It's fascinating. Get a chance, watch this movie called Little Buddha, Little Buddha. And now, this is the time for us to exercise that. Being still, you keep your attention on one point within yourself. And you don't come out of it. Your mind will go somewhere and does its dance when you notice like your mind is doing its thing and it's going crazy, you bring your attention. Don't worry about what happened. You bring your attention back to the center of yourself. Then everything becomes quiet. An hour after your friend, your kids, your mom comes in and says, oh, I just heard that blah, blah, blah is gonna happen and there's going to be martial law, and there's not going to be any food, and da, 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 da. You say, okay, thank you. Your mind starts getting activated. When you remember again, you bring your attention back to the center of yourself. You remember who you are, and everything becomes quiet again, and you're smiling. An hour after, again, something happens. You watch some news, you hear some news, same thing. You keep doing this. You keep coming back to the center of yourself and everything becomes calm and quiet. 
and very still inside yourself. This is what is we need to do right now because it's time. That's where you find peace and harmony because that's where it is. It's not out there. Don't waste your time. You're only going to suffer. That's all that's gonna happen. Your mind gets agitated, you get nervous, you're in fear and anxiety, your body produces hormones, all these toxins from these hormones in your body from fear and flight, and nothing you can do to change what is outside of you. So it just drives you crazy and you suffer. And you have done this for thousands of years. Now this is the time to pop out of it. This is the opportunity for transcending, for elevating your consciousness to fifth dimensional consciousness by discovering the truth of who you are. This is the chance. a golden opportunity for all of us. Yesterday, it's funny, I couldn't stop not laughing. I was writing, it was the first sunny day in this area that I live in because it was raining for a whole week and I was sick. Last week, I caught this really nasty flu. <laughs> Whether it's coronavirus or not, <laughs> obviously I'm alive, I haven't died yet. And I had got this, so I was sick for one week. And of course, you know, a week ago I was getting ready. I was supposed to go on my tour to Europe. And then, so I had to communicate with my European organizers and figuring things out. Okay, am I gonna go? Am I gonna stay? What am I supposed to do? And so <clears throat> I was inside a lot. So yesterday was the first day I finally f was feeling good enough to go on a bike ride and it turned to be a sunny day. And I'm riding my bike on the street and you know, a lot of the streets are empty, which is very pleasant. The air is really clean. The, you know, the skies are clear, the air is fresh. I'm riding my bike and I can't I didn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop just, it was just so much joy, so much love, so much excitement of, it was just bubbles of laughter will come out of me, of really feeling the presence, the love which is surrounding and is here. And it was like I come feeling this love affair of this moment of being alive, of being here, of having this opportunity. And kind of looking at the, wor the world with all these ups and downs, like a comedy of the way people are acting and reacting. It was like, not really to make fun of anyone, but it was like, it was like I'm watching a comedy of the reaction of how people react like, oh, oh, it's a crisis and it's gonna, uh, uh, it's gonna end, it's gonna end. It's always gonna end. From the moment you were born, you're on a time machine to die. If you're one minute old, one minute old, you were born, you're born, and you're one minute, you're one hour old, you're about to terminate. If you're one month old, 
you're about to terminate. If you're one year old, you're about to terminate. You're always on the verge of being terminated. What's different? What's the difference between that and right now? What's changed? You never know the next moment in life what's going to happen to you or anybody anyway. Look at it. Calm down, relax, and take a look at it. What's the difference between now and two months ago? Two months ago, you had no idea what's going to happen next. And right now, you have no idea what's going to happen next. Nothing's changed. Except your mind is going crazy. Except that illusory security that you thought there was, it's not there now. It was an illusion then, anyway. So now you're forced to look at it. You're forced to face it. And the mind doesn't like that. The mind wants to feel, think that I am safe. It's only the mind that is doing it. Because we have this wrong identification with something that we are not. We are identifying with something that's temporary. This body, this mind is temporary. It was never designed to last forever. From the time it was born, it's subject to be terminated. It was never meant to last. Now we're forced to look at it. That's why we're a little freaked out. Because our bubble is being burst. But when you direct your attention inwards to the source of who you are, rejecting your mind, going beyond your mind, then you see what is permanent. I am. The presence is permanent. It was never born and it will never die. Nothing can affect the truth of who you are. So all you have to do is bring your attention to that part and identify with that one instead of this other one. Let me see, we have a question here. I have OCD, is it a big hindrance for me to go within or it doesn't matter? Uh, no, it doesn't matter, uh, my dear. It doesn't matter. You simply bring your attention within and when your attention goes somewhere else and you recognize it, you bring your attention back inwards and just like everybody else everybody has OCD you're not the only one as long as you believe you are your mind as long as you believe 
this one is who you are, you have OCD. So you're not the only one. All 8 billion people on this planet, they have OCD. So this, um, this is a short notice, but I would like to share it with you if somebody in the last moment wants to jump on board. Tomorrow, uh, I am doing a shamanic healing circle online, of course, and it's going to be from 10.30 to 12.30 California time, which is uh, it's 6.30 to 8.30 in the evening uh, European time. Is that right, Ms. Hilde? Did I say it right? Yeah. Then, so you can uh, come on my website and sign up. Uh, we're going to, um, there's a date uh, that is need to be corrected on my website. Zarathustra.tv. Um, so, but if anybody's feel, anybody feels like being a part of this shamanic healing circle and receive this healing transmission, you're welcome to join in. Uh, you just have to go on my website and sign in. As well as on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to offer my workshop, which is from suffering to super consciousness. And uh, these are the events I was going to do in Norway. And now we're forced to, uh, of course, uh, we're, we, not that we're forced, we're offering them online. We were able to set it up. Uh, so if anybody wants to join in, again, you go on my website and you sign up there from suffering to super consciousness. And that workshop is going to be um, from 8.30 in the morning, California time till 1 p.m., which is going to be from 4.30 till nine o'clock in the evening, European time. In addition to that, um, we're going to have the third eye activation evening event that I was going to do in Hamar, Norway, and that's going to be in the next Tuesday. I'm going to update everything on my website. We, uh, a lot of things are not updated. We've been overwhelmed, as you know, everybody has with all these adjustments and uh, everything that has been happening. So, but they are on my website. If you want to join in, Go ahead, sign up, and we will send you a link to our Zoom meeting, and you can join in. Okay, I have one more question here. Thanks a lot. That was fun answer. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. We are going to be offering the Academy every Wednesday for as long as I'm here in the US. So, and as long as the internet works, every Wednesday, same time, I'm offering the Academy. Those of you who are participating through our system, which is Zoom, which you can sign up from my website, will receive a copy of this video we will email it to you. Uh, those of you who are on Facebook, you can check it out on my Facebook pages. And um, if you want to connect with me, feel free to message me on Facebook or the Academy page or send me an email at info at zarathustra.tv.
There's one more. Uh, stay and healthy and happy. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I'm working on staying, staying healthy and happy. I appreciate it. So I send you a lot of love and light. Stay in your heart. Stay in your state of love. Don't forget your humanity. Reach out. Someone needs your help. Help him. Give him your love. This is a time for those of us, all of us who are on this path to not fall into the fear and separation. We're conscious beings. We are representing love and light. So if our fellow brothers, sisters need our help, we are available for them. We're not gonna deny them in this situation. This is the time to demonstrate our love and our humanity in this, in this situation. So stay in that place and remember and know that Her Majesty, the Supreme Being is in charge of this universe. Leave the creation to the creator. The one who has created this world is taking care of it. You don't need to worry about that. Just stay in your center and remember your connection. There's one more. Okay, just one moment. Grateful for you, sir, just for love and healing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Despite of everything is happening right now, All the fear, worry, and anxiety, which is pumping out constantly. Use this opportunity to remember who you are. We are the oneness, and we represent love and light and Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul on this planet. As long as you have God in the center of your being, nothing can touch you. Nothing has the power to harm you. Remember that. I love you all and feel free to reach out. Namaste.